in a I, what, what do you mean he's not available? No, 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 stop. I, I don't, I don't want his partner. No, I'm in the middle of nowhere. It took five years and a small fortune to conceive this baby. I want him delivered by the doctor who got us pregnant, okay? He's not gonna make it on time. Honey, it's gonna be fine. I'm sure they deliver babies just as well here as they oh, do in the city. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, ooh, ooh, ooh. That was a good one. Oh, great. Hold on, hold on. This is okay. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Oh, yeah. It's a good time for babies. Why don't you stay? You okay? My shoes are squishy. Oh my god, you're wonderful. Doctor, Great. Doctor 120. Well, I have a little problem. Uh, I'm afraid your baby's in distress. What? You'll both be fine, but we'll have to do a C-section. Nancy, prep the OR. Right Mrs. Away. Barlow, we're going you're to sedate okay. you. Uh, Mr. Barlow, you'll be more comfortable no. waiting outside. Oh my god. <laughs> push. I am Oh, maybe you wanted it or Push. Oh, we're crowning. We're crowning. Come on, push. Keep up the pace, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. How you doing, Good, thank you. First thing I see. Leave that, Jimmy. I need you in the OR. Yeah, just one second. Now. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm coming. fingers and his toes. He's perfect. He looks like you. He's the most beautiful baby in the world. I love you. Mm. <laughs> I call mom and dad. Mom's going by. Great. Uh, do you want me to see him? I can find Daryl for you. No. No, I don't. Okay. We'll see you later. Thank you. Hey, congratulations. I think we're roomies. Great. Don't worry, I'll get your private room. Okay. I'd like to see my baby. Oh, of course. Evans, it's been busy around here. Two babies in ten minutes. Thank oh. you, little guy. I, I don't... I don't think that's my baby. Um, <laughs> of course he is. Uh, my, my baby was all red and, and splotchy. Well, then he cleaned up very well, didn't he? Didn't you? <laughs> oh. It's just that it doesn't look like the baby that the doctor... Oh, every new mother's worst fear is that her baby's been switched. It's normal. He's yours. See? What are you doing? Oh, baby. Shh, 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 shh. It's okay, my darling baby. Oh. <laughs> Just in time for lunch. Jeez, my afterbirth looked more appetizing. Oh, thank goodness my husband insisted on bringing me something from the city. Wow, what a guy. Went all the way into town just to get you food. Oh, well, we live in the city. We were out here antiquing when I went into labor. 
Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Were you early? Yeah, three weeks. I I'm Linda Wells. This is Luke. Sarah Barlow. That's Morgan. So, uh, where's your husband? I haven't met him yet. Oh, I'm not married. To Milford's best-looking, most irresponsible guy. The baby thing he wasn't into. Did he know about Luke? Sure. That's why he left town. Anyway, I've got a great family. And Luke won't lack for love, that's for sure. Have you tried nursing yet? Yeah, yeah, I think it's going okay. Although my lactation consultant won't come all the way out here. Your what? Lactation consultant, you know, for helping with the breastfeeding. Oh. Hmm. I never knew babies needed help with breasts. I'm starving. I'm gonna check out the vending machine. Uh, do you mind watching her for a few minutes? Oh, I, I, don't, I don't think so. He's okay. He's sleeping. I just nursed him. Yeah, but I'm not really comfortable with... Uh, oh, well, I'll be right back, you know, and... The nurse is just a button away. Okay. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations to you too. It smells good. Look what I had. Oh, thank you. Huh? Yeah. Mm. Sorry, I couldn't do anything about that nurse. Oh, it's now. okay. She's um, pretty interesting. Yeah. yeah <laughs> fine. Why don't you go say hello to Mr. Morgan? Yeah. <laughs> Morgan is beautiful. <laughs> I know, just kidding. <laughs> well, you should pick him up. You think? Okay. And this is his mommy. Okay, come on. Okay. Your mama's gonna be right back. There you go. There. There you go, Luke. You're all dressed up and ready to go home. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go pull the car around. Oh, okay. Can you take this down, Mom? Lovey, lovey. Bye-bye, Sarah. Well, we should stay in touch, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And we have so much in common. Well, you know, we're both new mothers. Mothers of baby boys. Well, Gal, call us any time. We're in the book. Ready to go? Miss Wells? My ride's here. Okay. Bye. Bye, Morgan. Bye. I never thought I'd be back in this room. It's just for a few months, Mom, I promise. Stay as long as you want, honey. Hey, Judy, look at all this stuff. Are you sure? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Terry and I have changed our last diaper. <laughs> Luke, you have the best auntie and grandma in the world. Come here and look at your new grandson. I told Linda you'd set up the crib this weekend. I will, when I can get to it. I do believe he has your stubborn chin, Bert. I'm gonna go mow before supper. He'll come around. I think before Luke goes to college. <laughs> no one can resist a baby for long, honey. We're feeling confident enough to withstand even a, a two-point rise in the interest rate. Well, I'm sure glad to hear that. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Hello? Yeah, Tracy, what is it? What's going on? W would he take his bottle? <laughs> He's just a little fussy. Right. Uh, we'll be home soon. Okay. I'm sorry, but we have to go. Oh. 
No, I understand. That's okay. No, honey, I'm, I'm sure we can stay until we finish our visit. No, you see, he, he's with the babysitter for the first time. Well, um, that's fine. I understand. Uh, you two go on ahead. Oh, thank you. It was so nice to see you again. We understand. Claire, uh, Doug, I listen. No, don't get it. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll finish this at the golf course on Sunday. Sounds right? good. Good to see Take you. Take care. Bye-bye. I left him a page. I never should have gone out tonight. Well, honey, he was fine when we left. He's, well, all right when we he's left. not all right now. Honey, we can't not go out because Morgan might get sick. Well, if that's what it takes to protect him, that's what I'm going to do. Zach, share your toys with Luke. Okay. You better get those photos labeled and into an album, Linda. I know, I know. Come on, you think you won't forget, but trust me, you will. What? Nothing. But Judy's right, though. You will forget. I wonder how that baby's doing. What baby? You know, the baby that was born the same day as Luke? Morgan. That was his name, Morgan Barlow. All right, here comes your skinny. Here we go, Morgan. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, here you go. This, this lamb thank smells you. so good. Yeah. Say thank you. Morgan's grown oh, so much. Okay. Yeah, he's my big boy. I'll take that thing. So cute. Mm, this is good. Hello. Hi. It, it, is that Sarah? Yes, it is. Who's this? Hi, Sarah. Th this is Linda Wells. Remember me? I, we had our babies at the hospital the same day, and I shared a room with you. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember you. I just wanted to say Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> I, I was looking at some old pictures of the hospital, and, and I don't know. I just thought about you. Well, that's very sweet of you. How is um? Oh. L Luke, right? H how's he doing? He's great. He's just jabbering a mile a minute. How's Morgan? <laughs> Morgan's ready for his own talk show. <laughs> um, Linda, um, I'm right in the middle of eating, so I, I have oh, to go. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I just, um, I, I don't know. I just want to say hi. And if you're ever in the neighborhood, you know, antique shopping. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We'll, we'll give you a call. All right, you, you take care and have a good holiday, okay? Bye. Okay, bye. Hey, guess who that was? That was Linda Wells, the woman I shared the room with at the hospital. You know, the kind of kooky one. Oh, yeah, I remember the, uh, the kooky one. Yeah. <laughs> What'd she want? She just wanted to say hi, wish us Happy Mother's Day, and find out how Morgan is doing. Oh, he's doing great. Yes, he is. Okay. What Here's are you eating? <gasps> so, uh, I have a little toast. Uh, two important women in our lives. Mothers. Oh, cheers. Cheers. I know Mom and Dad would really miss Luke. But I've become so dependent on them. I just... I think it's time for me to move out. Well, do you think you can afford it on your own? I've been saving up. I was thinking about selling my picture frames here. And I think with money with the shop, I, I can pull it off. Do you guys want to get an ice cream? Yeah! Let's go get a big fat ice cream. I'll get you one. Yeah. I'll be over here. Okay, come on, you guys. You know, those would have been some big mothers if somebody hadn't stunted their growth. Hey, Linda. When did you get back? About a week ago. Were you in New Mexico? Yeah, for a little while. Why'd you come back? Uh, my uncle's retiring. I'm buying his excavating business, me and the bank. Mostly the bank. Out of responsibility. You mean for a guy like me? Well, people change, Linda. Not you, I mean, hardly change at all. You still look great. <laughs> you used to be a better liar. Aren't you even gonna ask about him? <laughs> it's almost two years old. 
name is Luke. It's right over there. Oh, I, I almost didn't come back. When my uncle called, I almost told him to forget it. See ya. All those years we were together, I, I told you straight, no kids. Right from the start, I told you. I know what you told me. And I didn't get pregnant on purpose. But once I was, there was no way I was going to give him up. He didn't even look anything like me. <laughs> what are you talking about? Of course he does. No. No, he doesn't. I mean, I, I don't know who all you've been sleeping with. Straight to hell, Daryl Mumpton. I think that's why I stop telling people I'm his father. You can't force anyone to take a blood test to determine paternity. But if you ask and he refuses... Well, that would be bad for him, right? Right. And in any proceeding to determine paternity, the court can use his refusal as evidence against him. In fact... He can be ruled to be the father based on non-genetic evidence alone, so it's in Daryl's best interest to take the test. I've saved a little money so you can tell him I'll pay for it. I'll call him today. And make it really clear. I don't want anything from him. No money, no help. I just want it on record that he's Luke's father. Linda, what the hell are you trying to prove? I want Luke to know who his father is. So does everybody else. Well, you ain't getting any money out of me. Well, if you had any, I wouldn't want it. Did my lawyer tell you that? Yeah, he told me. I just wanted to hear from you. Well, so now you have. Now I have. So, if I take this test, that's the end of it, no matter what the results? You put that in writing? You bet I will. You and I both know what the results are going to be. Yeah. It's a little more complicated than we thought. Did he play some trick and switch blood on us or something? The, uh, the lab looked at genetic markers for uh, you and Daryl and Luke. Now, this DNA thing, it's in three parts. Can so... we just read the results, please? Okay. If all evidence in this case were equally balanced for and against paternity there is a 99.87% probability that Daryl Moncton is not the father of Luke Wells. What? Wait, That's hold, impossible. Hold, hold on. There's more. There is a 99.93% probability that Linda Wells is not the mother of Luke Wells. <laughs> what? All I can oh. figure is that they muddled the test somehow. Yeah, they did. You're going to have to take it again. With his net in one hand and his flashlight in the other, he tried to move silently on the fallen leaves. He winced as they crunched beneath his feet. Crunch, crunch. Oh. Bath time. We're almost finished. I'll bring him up in a minute. The strange creature looked up. His beady eyes He's in the wheel. You do it. He's in the wheel. Is it blue? He's Good in the job. wheel. Good job. James Barlow. Do it again. Give me the Who? fish dizzy. You dizzy dizzy. Wow. Morgan. Morgan? Who is this? Wait, wait, wait. wait. What, what, are you, what are you saying? I'm... Yeah. I'll... You know what? I'll have my attorney call you. What's going on? It's, uh, it's Morgan. <laughs> what are you talking about? They're, um, they're maybe it's a kind of mix-up at the hospital. Hospital? At uh, Milford, where he was born. <laughs> Who was that on the phone? It was an attorney for the woman you shared the room with. She, uh, she thinks they switched babies. She took a blood test. She, uh, 
She thinks Morgan may not be our son. They're yours. Did you ever doubt for one second that Morgan is our son? Of course not, never. Then it, it can't be true. It just, it can't be true. They, why would they lie? Why would they call us and lie? Jimmy, you gotta do something about this. We are a family. You can't let this happen. Honey, we'll deal with it. Switch them. Switch them now, so it won't be so hard on the boys. I thought about it. And you have to switch them. So if you don't do it now and you change your mind down the road, it'll be too late. You'll be too bonded. Too bonded? I'm his mother. How could I be more bonded? How could you be more bonded? I can't get my mind around this. I could never give him up. Ever. Be either. But aren't you? Just a little bit curious about your other child. Don't you want to see him? Why is she doing this? Because we might have the child she gave birth to. And she might have ours. No, there's something else going on here. I am telling you this is about something else. Sarah, you saw her at the hospital. Yes. You know, she left me with her child. She's Sarah, a complete flake. Well, of course she is, but... Look, we're not going to know anything until we go for the test. But if it's true, someone else has our child. Don't you want to know about him? Or, or, or see him? I mean, you held him at the hospital, remember? No. No, I have my baby. The one that I nursed, the one that I love, the one that I take care of when he's sick. Morgan is my son. End of story. Drop blood all the time. Well, enjoy it. <laughs> We're raking it in. Pretty nice. What are you selling them for? So I can get an apartment and maybe get a new car. VW finally croaked. I was, I was talking about the price. They're marked. What do you want, Daryl? You know, he's a pretty cute kid, even if I'm not his old man. You may not be his daddy, but you're a father, all right, to a kid in the city named Morgan Barlow. What are you talking about? He was born the same day as Luke. There was a mix-up in the hospital. What? No, 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 no. What are you trying to tell me the hospital switched the babies? Come on, Linda. Are you serious? Yes. Oh. Maybe I, I hope you got yourself one hell of a good lawyer, because... Look what you did. Look what you did. Oh! Big boy. <gasps> round and round. Yeah. I'll be right back, sweetie. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. percent probability that Sarah Barlow isn't mine says the same thing mother of Morgan you're right no yeah oh hi Linda uh you don't have to talk to me yeah I just was calling to see if you got your test results yeah we uh we did get the results uh they're the same Well, sooner or later, I know you're you're gonna want to meet Luke, and I, I know I really like to meet Morgan. Yeah, that 
I think that's probably a good idea. We should, uh, we should get together. Well, I'll call you. You guys are so rich. It's some house. Well, it's a it's a great neighborhood. Lots of kids. Yeah, and there's a really great park just around the corner. There's a uh, little league in soccer when Morgan gets older. Hey, Come on, Lizzie. Okay, it's okay, darling. Oh, it's okay, sweetie. Look, we're amongst friends, aren't we? <laughs> Love that little boy as much as any mother can love a child. Oh, you know what? I don't know. I, I, she just seems so unworldly. I mean, I, I don't want to sound, like, sound a, like a snob. But right. I, you know what I mean? <laughs> I know. But we gotta try, baby. She's got our son. <laughs> Morgan's really jealous, huh? Oh, well, all the books say it's perfectly normal. You know, boys get very possessive of their mother at this age. It's just the early Oedipal stage. Luke doesn't have any competition. Mm -hmm. He's my main squeeze, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Aren't you? Would you uh, like a glass of wine? Oh, sure, that would be great. Mama? Mama? Oh, nice. These are, these are really pretty. They're Akama. It's a Native American tribe in the Southwest. Jimmy went down there on business, and I tagged along, and I did a little shopping. Here, see? Wow. I've always wanted to go to that part of the country. Thanks. I even thought about moving there someday. Mm. Got you guys a present. Oh, you didn't have to do that. Oh, my God. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at the flowers. <laughs> You can, you know, put potpourri or candy or whatever in there. I, I make them. Well, I sell them, too. But uh, not with pictures of Luke, of course. <laughs> it's, it's beautiful, Linda. Thank you. You know, I have some pictures of Morgan you might like to have. I would like that. Thanks. He was really colicky for the first four months. I never got any sleep. But then he grew out of it, and he's okay now. He's, he's the best. He's just got the best personality. Morgan had ear infections. You know, I think every baby has something to keep their parents from getting any sleep. <laughs> but he's doing just fine. Yeah, I just, I love this age, you know? He's so verbal. Me too, I really do. I love every age. You're lucky that you don't have to work. Yeah, I know. It must be hard for you, being a single parent. I don't know what I would do without my folks. They're amazing. 
I, I work at my sister's beauty shop, and she lets me bring him. And he, he loves it. He loves all the attention he gets. Yeah. Morgan goes to a play group a couple of times a week, you know, to learn socialization skills. Hey, Morgan, you know what? I really like the way you're letting me talk to Linda. I do. That's good cooperating. Give me a kiss. Mm. Mwah. <laughs> do you have any apple juice? Yeah, yeah, I do. I, I can get it. No, I'll, I'll get it. But you know what? I dilute it with water. Yeah, I'm trying to get Morgan to his second birthday without any refined sugar. She's never had ice cream? Oh, oh no, 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 no. He has raisins and apricots, you know. So, should I dilute it? Yeah, sure. Dilute it. Dilute it. <laughs> okay. I'm going to be right back, okay? There's just so much to talk about, I don't even know where to start. How about the virgin birth? Your version, my version, and the hospital's version. <laughs> you know, I think this is the first time I've really smiled since all of this started. To the boys. To our boys. guys been married? Oh, 11 years. I was a secretary at the brokerage firm where Jim works. Thank you. You waited a long time to have children. Well, Jim was traveling a lot all over the world, and, and he wanted me to go with him. Sounds like a dream life, huh? <laughs> well, when we did decide to start having a family, um, we couldn't get pregnant. Yeah, it seems like I went to, gosh, millions of doctors. When I finally did get pregnant, I lost it. It's awful. Yeah, yeah, four months. I wanted to try again right away, and we did, but like the first time, it just took forever. I can't believe I let that nurse convince me. I mean, I'm usually so bullheaded, but she just What about me? me I should have known better. How about those doctors? Oh, I know. I, can you believe this? They attend the birth, and then eight hours later, they check the babies, and they don't see anything different. Unbelievable. I know. It's amazing. You know, Sarah, I... I almost chickened out coming here, and I'm... I'm really glad we did. Me too. Yeah. Jim's thinking that maybe we should... Consult some experts, you know, find out what the legal ramifications are. I, I, I don't know how you feel about that. He, he talked to me about it, and I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. Good. Linda, I am... Um, I, I was wondering... How do you feel about this? I mean, what do you think we should do? I don't have a choice. I, I want to do what's best for Luke. I recommend switching them back. Switch them back. Don't wait. Switch them back. In a year, they'll forget. He wanted expert opinions. We got expert opinions. Maybe we should consider what they're saying. What? Switching back? Well, gradually. I, I, don't, I don't know. Giving birth and being a parent are two different things. I don't care what they said. Yeah, you know what? We both nursed these children for over a year. I, I have taken care of Morgan's ear infections, the colic. We know what they like, the dislike. We, we know what they need. When Morgan looks at you, what does he call you? Daddy. Right, and, and for him, I'm mommy. And for Luke, Linda is mommy. To pretend like the last year and a half didn't happen is just plain stupid. 
You know, all my life I've listened to everybody else's opinion except my own, but I gotta say, I think those experts are wrong. I keep praying that I'm not being selfish about this, but I really think that what is best for Morgan and for Luke is for everything to stay just the way it is. I agree. Jimmy? All right, let's uh, go talk to a lawyer. There are two issues we need to deal with. Liability to the hospital, which is no small thing. And what to do with the boys. Oh, we're keeping the boys we've been raising. What about Morgan's father? I'm Morgan's father. Daryl Moncton, it, is, he's out of the picture. OK, then, we'll start the process of two adoptions. But I suggest we play this very close to the vest while we build a case against the hospital. And why is that? Well, initial public opinion is bound to be positive. But getting the case to court's going to take a while. We don't want to give the public time to switch sides. It was good we did this. Yeah, I'm glad we did. Yeah. We'll get them together for their birthdays. Absolutely. And I will call you as soon as Michael calls with any information about the case, okay? Come on. Don't want to miss the bus. Okay. Okay. Well, bye. Bye. Thank you. Ooh. Okay. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Bye, honey. Mm -hmm. You better get going. Say bye-bye. 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 Bye. I say bye-bye. Hello. Hi, it's me. You know what, I'm gonna take this in the kitchen. It's Linda. Luke had a shot today and I told her to call. Oh, how are we ever gonna tell them? When are we gonna tell them? You know, I I'm gonna go talk to a therapist. Maybe you should do it too. Good luck finding a shrink in Milford. <laughs> so, tell me about the shot. He did good. He was okay. He doesn't have a fever. And, um... He was pretty brave. We gotta back this up a little, son. Beep, 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 oh. beep, 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 beep. Then we're gonna go forward. Beep, 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 beep. What are you doing? Hey. Just hauling some gravel out here. Where to? Where are we taking this, Luke? Great imagination. Probably gets that from his mother. I mean, creative. You know, you've always been good at making something out of nothing. <laughs> That's why excavation's the right job for me, because I've always been good at digging myself into holes. Daddy knew you were here. He'd call 911. I signed the papers today. I'm now officially Moncton Excavation. Good for you. I thought maybe you might want to help me celebrate. Just go out, get a bite or something. Oh, Daryl. Don't, don't say no, Linda. We go back a long ways. Spent uh, ten years together. Yeah, well, not ten years in a row. <laughs> okay, so maybe it was a little on and off, but... I can't think of another living soul I'd rather be with tonight than you. I, mean, I know all the reasons why I shouldn't go, but he is the father of my child, even if it is so screwed up. I just think you gotta wonder about his timing is all. Hello? Hi, it's me. How you doing? How's Luke? Oh, hi. Uh, he's great. How's Morgan? Fine. You know what? We were thinking about preschools, and I was wondering if you checked out any in your area yet. No, I haven't. Um, I, I uh, you know, I was just about to run out. Oh, hang on one second, you know, because I cut out this list of questions to ask prospective yeah. teachers, and I did some research into some of the schools. Look, I don't think we're going to be doing preschool. Really? Why not? $400 a month is why not. <laughs> well, I, I know it's expensive, but, you know, socializing with other kids is... Look, Sarah, Luke has cousins. He socializes with his cousins for free. Look, I was really about to run out. Can I call you this weekend? <sighs> okay. Yeah. Bye. Great. Bye.
I made a lot of mistakes, Linda. A lot of mistakes, especially with you. Oh, Daryl. Don't even go there. Why not? Because as far as you're concerned, I've been there, done that. Well, I, I was only gonna say how sorry I am for running out on you. And Luke. And now I don't really have any excuses except for maybe being afraid of responsibility, you know? I'm thinking about it. Um, maybe I'm finally growing up. Well, it's about time, don't you think? We've all agreed to, you know, keep things the way they are, for the boy's sake. Uh-huh. You get along with these people? <laughs> yeah. Well, Sarah can be a little uptight. You know, kind of like a control freak. Doesn't surprise me. She's rich. I mean, rich people are used to getting what they wanted. They think they can push the rest of us around. You, you want to know what does surprise me, though? It's how you've been dealing with all this. I mean, with everything that's happening. I just want to tell you I'm impressed. You knocked me out. But we always have. Come down this weekend. We both have the flu, and he's just not feeling well. It's okay, sweetie pie. Yeah, no, of course I took him to a pediatrician. I'm sure he's not as good as yours, but you know, he's the best we've got here. It's all right, darling. Well, I just don't think it's a good idea. I just don't want to get anybody else sick. Okay, well. So wish Morgan a happy birthday for us. Yeah, okay. I'll tell him. Bye. She's not gonna bring him down here to visit. Why not? Says they've been sick. You think it's an excuse? I don't know. You know, for the last few weeks, she's been kind of cool. Maybe I'll take a ride out there. Yeah, we should. Mom, I can't find the camels anywhere. Don't worry, honey. It's under control. <laughs> Somebody's got it. It's gonna be you. Hi, guys. Hi. I hope we're not intruding. Sarah and James, what a surprise. Who yeah, wanted to bring Lucas presents in? Who's that? It's them. Oh, boy. You can hook this up to a computer. We don't have a computer. Uh, we weren't uh, We weren't sure, so we, uh, we brought one. It's out in the car. Hey, everybody. Daryl, you're here. Me, Miss Shot of Free Ice Cream and Cake. Are you kidding? Where's that birthday boy? Daryl, what do you want here? Daddy. Came to give Luke his birthday present. Hey, here you go. How's that? Look at that. Hey, tough guy. Happy birthday. And you must be Morgan. Wow. Well, happy birthday to you, too. That's <laughs> sure. Sarah, right? Daryl Monkey. Friend, friend of Linda's. We know all about you. James, right? Oh, uh, yeah, Jim. Yeah. Hi. Jim, nice to meet you. Yeah. We should probably talk. About what? Well, I know you people think you got everything all worked out here, but uh, it's one thing you might overlook. It's, it's I never gave up my rights. <clears throat> your, uh, your rights, huh? Uh, what rights would those be? my parental rights to Morgan. It's my little boy. My son. What do you mean, your son? You know exactly what I mean. He's my kid. My biological son. I, I don't want to make a big deal out of this, but I never signed nothing to change that.
Listen, friend, you know, uh, you try to pull anything, you find yourself in court so fast. Whoa, 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 whoa. You might want to check your facts first, pal, before you go threatening lawsuits. No, I can get lawyers, too. Yeah? And pay for them with what? The money you think Linda's gonna get from the hospital? No, 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 he smelled cash. That's the only reason he's here. What are you talking about? What? You gotta stay away from my family. I can't believe you're doing this. Good morning. We're oh, leaving. Oh, oh. Unbelievable. Come on. Here. It's Sarah. Sarah. I don't understand this. That's the guy who left you the minute he found out you were pregnant, left you alone to have a baby, wouldn't admit that he was the baby's father, and now all of a sudden he just comes waltzing in, saying that he has some sort of say in all of this. It's not that simple. Oh, I see. You're seeing him again, aren't you? He came crawling back, and you just let him right back in, didn't you? People change. I don't believe this. I don't care what you believe. All right, well, then what about the boys? You know, you're always saying how much you care about what's right for them. How is letting this guy back in your life right for them? Luke needs a father. Any father? Well, Daryl knows he's made mistakes. That's an understatement. Well, maybe we made mistakes, too. What do you mean? Maybe we made mistakes by not switching the boys. Okay, baby? Hmm? Yes. Right Sorry that had to happen. Linda told me about those people. I just can't stand to see her get pushed around. That's very considerate, Daryl. But how do you figure it's your place to get involved? Daddy, Daryl and I have been seeing each other for a while. And, uh, well, he's asked me to, to live with him, Luke and I, and, and we've agreed to give it a try. And when were you going to tell us? I don't know. Not today. Not like this. Yeah, I know I was a bit of a jerk. But, you know, I went looking for something I, I didn't know I already had. Linda's willing to take me back, give me another chance. Just, just kind of hoping you guys would do the same. Because I'm ready to take responsibility for my life, finally. And, uh, for my family. I can't believe it popped out of my mouth like that. What I said about switching the boys. Maybe you've been thinking about it all along, you know, inside. Maybe. That's funny, but it didn't really hit me until I saw him. But Morgan is our flesh and blood. It's weird. she not see what an opportunist he is? I mean, God, he's so transparent. What if, what if they go to court? What if they get more? It's not going to happen. And then they could move out of state? In New Mexico, she's always talking about how she Sarah, wants to move Sarah, stop there. it. I mean, the guy living with her son is more than enough on our plate. Honey, um, our plate's a little more full than you know. What do you mean? I mean, I'm pregnant. No way. Oh, yeah. 
The doctor says it happens all the time. No way, no way. No, 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 no. Couples who can't wait, get pregnant no. and they can't love. Yeah. Mm. Who did it? We did it. We did it. Yeah. Heard anything from the Barlows? No. And I'm sure that Sarah's just as messed up as I am. And I can't stop thinking about Morgan. And I know she can't stop thinking about Luke, you know? What they're doing and how they're feeling. What about switching the boys? Is that still an option? God, I don't know. I mean, Daryl's not pressuring me. That's what you're asking. I can't believe you moved in with him again without even telling me. You never liked him. I never liked him because he's a creep. Well, that's why I didn't tell you. I mean, he's really changed. He has. You should see how he is with Luke. I mean, all kids need a father. I know, I know, you're right. I can't imagine raising my kids alone. It's just... I hope you're with him for the right reasons, that's all. I'm with him because I love him. I've always loved him. I'm Dr. Nirenberg. Luke has a subdural hematoma. It's a blood clot it's causing pressure in his brain. We're going to have to operate to drain it. How soon? Immediately. They, they want to drill holes in his skull. Well, it's actually a very common procedure, and I have a lot of experience with it. No, I'm sorry. We've had experience with this hospital. We'd like to move him to the city. I'm sorry. There's no time for that. Well, what exactly is going to happen? Well, after we drain the clot, we wait to see if he regains consciousness. What do you mean, if? If he wakes up, he'll have a complete recovery, though he'll be susceptible to seizures. And if he doesn't wake up? It's conceivable he could remain in a coma indefinitely. How long does the surgery last? About two hours, and then we wait and pray. It's a legitimate question. We don't know what's going on over there. Oh, my God. If he did something to hurt that baby, honey, I could have got him. He's going to be fine. I know he is. Okay. Hello? Doctor. Yeah, um, I'm here at the hospital with son. He has a cerebral hematoma. Why don't you come over and sit with Linda? It might make it a little easier. Oh, I don't think so. Well, he came through the surgery just fine. Is he awake? No, not yet. Now, Mom and Dad only can wait with him in the recovery room until he comes around. Where, Where is, is it? The scar tissue can cause more seizures, so he'll need daily medication. Uh, what kind of medication? Uh, how long? There's some new drugs. We'll just find the right dosage and keep it to a minimum. And the most important thing is to avoid anything that can cause further seizures. Like, like what? Diet, 
emotional distress. Doctor, is this uh, an inherited thing? No, there's no genetic factors. Well, there's nothing that could have been done to prevent this. And the good news is that Luke's a strong little boy. With proper care, he's going to lead a completely normal life. And well, sometimes the seizures even go away on their own. Thanks, Doctor. Thank you. crazy but um you know how luke loves my cookies so I, I adjusted the recipe for his diet and i want to get these in the mail as soon as i can and god knows what they're feeding him i just hope they're being careful well whatever else linda is she is a good mother it's not linda i'm worried about you know i'm surprised the barlows didn't show up this weekend well i asked them not to come you know i thought it would be too much for luke running around with morgan Night, night, sweetheart. Night, night. I just didn't want to get all excited. Probably glad to be off the hook. Uh, you know, parents are supposed to love their children even more when they're sick, Daryl. I know. I just didn't mean that the way it sounded. It, this could be like the tip of the iceberg, though. I mean, we could be getting into something here. What are you saying? I'm just saying, if we don't know anything about their medical history, they get all, all kinds of stuff in their family background. And here we are stuck taking care of their sick kid. Can we talk about something else, please? I'm sorry. It's just that I want us to be a real family. We are a real family. That's not what I mean. I want to marry you. Wants to be committed to each other, you and me, and our son. What do you say? I can't stand this. Well, why, why are you leaving us? I've left dozens of messages. She hasn't returned one. I haven't talked to Sarah, her over a month. Sarah, if there were a problem, she would have called. That's not the point. I want the boys to be like brothers, and I want to be Sarah, involved. Sarah, come on. I'm sorry, baby. Mommy's Daddy. just crazy. Mama. Hey, I'm so sorry, sweetheart. It's a process server. Uh, there's a custody hearing in three weeks. They, uh, they won't mortgage. Oh, my God. Now, that's why you haven't heard from her. She's too ashamed to call. No, this is it's not Linda. This is Daryl. How do you know? Because of... Wait a minute. Where are you going? I gotta go to work. You can't go to work. You've got to do something. Honey, honey, what would you like me to do? I don't know, but Morgan is a sitting duck. Jimmy, you've got to fix this. Oh, oh, all right, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll figure out something. See our boy. <laughs> he looks great. <laughs> he is. We uh, haven't heard from you for a while. I know. I'm sorry. Sarah gets upset when she doesn't talk to you. I, I don't know if you know, but uh, she's pregnant. She is. Wow. Congratulations. Hey, big cat. Look, uh, I know I haven't called. I'm sorry. It's just that. Well, you know, every time I talk to Sarah, I get all twisted around, and... I don't know, I've had so much to deal with, I just guess I needed a break. Uh... You wanna... you... you wanna sit down? All right. Sure. Hey, Sally? Hey, you keep an eye on Lukey? Yeah. Okay. I mean, you're right over there, all right? <laughs> yeah. You, you... you grew up here, didn't you? Four generations of Wells. Never wanted to leave? Every 
everybody wants to leave around here. Some do, some don't, and some get so caught up until it's just too late. Oh, uh, what if it's, what if it's not too late? And what if we could all live closer to each other? You and Sarah would go crazy here. <laughs> what if we got you a place in the city? A house of your own, near us? You know, there are a lot of places you could cut hair. You, you'd certainly make more money. We, we could help you out until you do. You know, they're excellent doctors. And we'd be there to, to help you with Luke. You guys have it all figured out, don't you? Just trying to make an impossible situation, Beryl. Find some way we can all be closer to both boys. What, so you can decide what schools they go to and who their friends are, if they get a piece of cake or get to watch television? I don't need you and Sarah controlling me. You know? Sarah doesn't know anything about this. But what about Daryl? I mean, how does Daryl fit into your pretty picture? I was hoping he... What, up and disappear? Well, that's not gonna happen. In fact, he's asked me to marry him. What'd you say? Look, James. I have a life of my own here, you know? I don't need you or anybody else to help me make decisions. You got it? Hey, Linda. Come on, guys. Let's go. Woo! Let's go. Let's go home. Hey, baby. Yes. Where were you? I've been trying to reach you all afternoon. Uh, piece of junk back home broke down on me. James came out here. Tried to make me an offer. What? A million bucks to kill me in my sleep? <laughs> a house in the city and a job. In return for what? <laughs> in return for not switching the boys. Of a bitch. <laughs> I think Sarah is concerned about Luke's health. Uh, that jerk. He tried to buy you and my son away from me. I mean, what kind of a man would do something like that? And deserve being a kid. Honey, Daryl, come on. No, 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 I'm not gonna come on. No, no, you know, I, he thinks because I got dirt under my nails, I can't play in his league. But tomorrow, you and I are gonna file for custody of both boys. What? Then, then we're gonna call the newspaper and we're gonna tell them our side of the story. Did you do this? Did you try and bribe them? It wasn't a bribe. But you went there without telling me, and now they want both children. I offered Linda a house so we could be closer to Luke. And I thought it was Daryl I had to keep my eye on. Unbelievable. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You wanted action, I took some action. No, you started manipulating like this was some kind of a business deal, just like you always do. And you dropped it in my lap, Sarah, just like you always do. Yeah, you know, you're right. That is what I always do, but not anymore. <laughs> Come here. What is this? Oh, my God. Oh, get away from the window. Barlow's reacted. It's like typical rich people. They tried to bribe Linda to not file for custody. And why are you seeking custody after all this time? Because they're not doing right by my child. Could we, could we please to turn this off? Morgan's left with daycare, with a babysitter. They don't want him 24-7. I do. It's preschool, not daycare. He's not fit to raise a window, much less two children. Well, don't panic. Their chance of getting both boys is slim. 
Still, I... I'd advise you to prepare for a worst-case scenario. What are you saying? Well, Daryl's obviously a pretty convincing con man. Judges and psychologists are susceptible to charm like anybody else. And he's clearly street smart. Look how he's manipulating the media. Wait a minute. Are you saying we might lose this? I just think you might want to talk to some specialists. Oh, I think we need another lawyer. Yes, no, no. If he thinks we're going to lose this, I want another lawyer. Besides, how is a specialist going to tell a two-year-old that he's being taken away from his parents? The Barlows refused to comment, but their lawyer, Michael Turner, says the couple was devastated by the turn of events and will do whatever it takes. Look at Morgan. He looks so scared. <laughs> the Barlows are coming off like the bad guys. I don't see much to be happy about, Daryl. How is he? He's good. He's really good. He hasn't had any problems with his medication, and he hasn't had a seizure. Oh, thank God. I have pictures. He learned how to count to 20. <laughs> wow. How's Morgan? He's great. Uh, we started potty training. Oh, you know what? I actually found a really great book about it. I I'd like to send it to It'll you. It'll do just fine without it. Thanks. I would like that. Just send it. Okay. We're about to get started, folks. You can have this. Thanks. The power of the state to terminate the rights of a biological parent is not one I use lightly. I'm aware of the multiplicity of interests here, but my ultimate concern is the well-being of Morgan and Luke. With that in mind, I'll appoint counsel for each child and table a decision until social services have had a chance to investigate both living situations. All rise. Let me ask you some simple questions. How has what's happened with the mix-up, the lawsuits, the media, how has all of this affected your relationship? Well, um, we've had to make some adjustments to cope. Jim? Uh, I'd say there's been some stress on the marriage, but uh, I guess that's inevitable. But we're fine. What motivated you to change your mind? Part of it is Daryl coming back and supporting me. I don't, I don't think that the Barlows are bad people, but... But we do think we're doing the right thing here. For the kids. And how is your decision affecting you? Well, I, I've lost sleep, I can tell you that. I'm having trouble focusing at work and... But if this all makes it right. I mean, it's worth it. How do I tell a two-year-old that he might have to go live with strangers? I mean, how do I face an empty house, an empty bedroom? I can't get Morgan out of my mind. I, I wake up in the morning thinking about him and go to bed at night thinking about him. These boys need to be together. Look, yeah. Who is that man? And look, there you are. <laughs> Christmas time, Daddy. Do you remember our big, beautiful Christmas tree? Yeah. And, and, and look at this. this. You remember Luke and Linda? Huh? And 
This is you and look at it. They, they were nice, remember? Yeah, I remember you liked them, huh? Yeah. And you know what, honey? What? You know what? Linda loves you so much, huh? Yes, she does. Just like mommy and daddy. Yeah. And some boys are very, very lucky. You know why? Because some boys get to have two mommies and two daddies. And I can't do it. I can't. Hey, little man. It's okay. Okay. Do you remember your friend Morgan? And Sarah and James and how we went to their house and Morgan was so good at sharing his toys with you. Do you remember that? What Mom is trying to say is Morgan's going to be coming to live with us so you're going to have to learn how to share your room and your toys, okay? I mean, can we just take it slow? I mean... How do we expect him to understand this? Well, maybe we just quit pussyfooting around and tell him straight. He knows the whole alphabet. Uh, Mor Morgan, let, let's say let's say the alphabet. Let's see. A, a B. B. <laughs> Morgan. No, that's okay. Really, really. You know, I I, I know what Daryl is telling the press, but this is really the way we are all the time. It's not an act. Our whole lives revolve around Morgan. Huh? Hey, Morgan. Morgan, can you tell her what does a cow say? What does a cow say? Daryl, does Luke have a favorite book? <laughs> yeah, anything with Barney, probably. Right, Lukester? What's the name of Luke's pediatrician? That's, uh... That's, uh... Fenchner. Right, honey? Dr. Foster. <clears throat> Dr. Fenchner is, a, is our family doctor. Right, right, I knew that. But we, we sometimes do take him to Dr. Fessner. Do you plan to move to a larger place so that Morgan and Luke could have a room of their own? Not yet, but soon. <laughs> we'll be able to afford anything we want. Probably be moving to some big old house someplace. <laughs> Are you talking about the settlement with the hospital? Yeah. I mean, I know it's not a done deal, but uh, they screwed up. They gotta pay. Right, um, but if you're successful in getting custody of both boys, or even just your biological child, then the hospital can claim that you got what you wanted. What are you getting at? Well, um, if your situation's resolved, then the hospital will claim that the emotional distress has been reduced or eliminated. Huh. What about everything we've already been through? I mean, are you saying that that winning the court case means less money from the hospital? That's what the hospital's attorneys will argue. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Barlow, please. Daryl Moncton calling. Hey, Jim. Daryl Moncton, I was thinking the timing might be right for you and me to have a powwow. Yeah, the sooner the better. Daryl. Hi, James. You want a beer or something? I don't think so. Okay? Sure. Let's get to it, okay? Linda, she's driving me nuts. She's getting antsy, you know, about the boys. You know, with the, the press and the lawyers and the, the shrinks and all. She's a mess. I know you got your hands full with pregnant wife on top of everything else. What do you want, Daryl? Well, let me lay it out for you, Jim. I might be persuaded to drop the custody application, you know, if the conditions were right. Well, I figured at least it'd be worth giving you a call. You know, that, that maybe between you and I, we, we, we can make something work that allow us to both walk away smiling.
Hey, baby, you're up late. Where have you been? You promised Luke you'd put him to bed tonight. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I... Hey, Jim Barlow called me today. What do you want? Offer me money. Lots of money. To drop the custody claim. You find out that we might get less money from the hospital? If we get the boys and out of the blue, Jim calls you and offers you money to drop the claim? Pretty wild, huh? Yeah. He said Lyndon knew he was going to call me. Now, I don't believe that. She wouldn't stoop that low. Why do you keep defending a woman who's destroying our family? We need to talk. Yeah. No lawyers, husbands, boyfriends, or reporters. Just you and me. He told me that you and Jim offered us money to drop the claim. I swear on the lives of both our sons, he is lying. I know. I believe you. I, I knew that last night when he told me. He's the one who called Jim. He, he said that you'd be willing to drop the claim for the right amount of money. He, he asked Jim to invest in his business. Jim says he's overextended. That's why he's trying so hard to cash in. <sighs> Linda, I had no idea that Jim was going to try and pressure you into moving into the city. Honestly, I, I'm so mad at him about it. I know, I know. I... <sighs> such an idiot. Well, it's hardly an exclusive club. I should have known better. I, I wanted a father for Luke. I, for the most important thing in my life, I chose the worst guy in the world. Well, what about me? You know, I, I expected Jim to just fix everything instead of doing what I believed was right. Sarah, I love Luke more than anything in the world. I so much that I could never give him up. I know. I feel the same way about Morgan. But Luke is part of me, too, you know, and I just, I can't deny that. I've had such a hard time not seeing Morgan. I mean, it's, it's making me crazy not watching him grow. As far as I'm concerned, I have two sons. We both do. The reason we wanted to see you both together is that there are some provisions we'd like to make, and we want you to make sure that they stay. And we want you both to know that when we go back to court, we'll be sitting on the same side of the room. Do you want me to come with you? No. <clears throat> I got into this on my own. That's all I'll get out of it. Um, if you need me, I'll always be here for you. Thank you. Call me. I will. Hey, baby, you're back early. Where's Luke? At my mom's. Oh, cool, because I was hoping we could get a chance to talk after the other night. It was kind of I know weird. all about it, Daryl. All about what? Your scam, trying to get James to invest in your business, everything. No, but m my business is going to pay for Luke's college. You lied to me. I mean, you've obviously been you lied to me about Barlow. everything. How can you believe they're crap? There's not going to be any money, Daryl. 
None. Any money we get is going into a trust fund for the boys. Whose bright idea was that? Mine. Luke and Morgan are going to college without your help. The lawyers have already set up the account. We'll get them to unset it. No, I won't. The only thing that's changing around here is my address. Wait a minute, what are you talking about? Can't now. This is not gonna work for me anymore, Daryl. Maybe when I was alone, I could fall for your crap. Maybe somehow I thought I didn't deserve better. But Luke does. He deserves parents who think he's the most important thing in the world. He deserves better than you, Daryl. Uh, that's nice, Linda. But I have my rights. I'm still Morgan's father. I'll go to court without you. Good luck. I don't need it. Wait till they hear the truth about you. Do you hear me? You wait. They're not going to let you keep either kid. They ain't going to let you near him. This baby cares for reporters very much. How we feel that? Yeah. Jimmy, whatever happens today, I know this has changed us. Well, me, definitely. Yeah. yeah. As long as we've been together, I've been less than an equal partner. And that was okay. I think I wanted you to be in charge. But not anymore. We're in this marriage together, and any decisions we make about this family, we make together. I wouldn't have it any other way, sir. I love you. I love you. Mm -hmm. oh. Hi. Hi. How are you feeling? Oh, big and ready for this to be over with. Me too. Before we go in, I, uh, I want to apologize. No, you don't have to. No, I, I never meant to seem like I was bribing you into moving into the city. I, I'm sorry. Well, you did it for all the right reasons. And I was with Daryl for all the wrong reasons. And I'm sorry that it affected you and us and the boys. It's going to make it right. <laughs> Morgan is living in a stable, loving, child-focused environment. He is very attached to his mom, Sarah Barlow, and his dad, James Barlow. I feel that if Morgan were removed from their care, that his emotional growth would be seriously affected. Luke has a close and loving relationship with his de facto mother, Linda Wells. His relationship with Mr. Moncton is tentative at this point, as is Mr. Moncton's relationship with Ms. Wells. And if Luke were to be removed from his present living situation? I agree with Dr. Dennis. Such a resolution would damage this child's sense of well-being. My recommendation to the court would be to institute a joint custody arrangement so that the Barlows and Ms. Wells would equally share custody of both boys. Thank you, Doctor. You may step down. What about this? Uh, I could have a David. So Mr. Yes. Moncton, since Ms. Wells no longer supports your position, I'm postponing judgment pending any new motions you may wish to file. Keep in mind, Mr. Moncton, that this court will give more weight to the existing bonds of the de facto parents than to Johnny-come-lately biological parents. Your Honor, Mr. Moncton will withdraw his custody claim and review his options for future action. I see. Well, then. Ms. Wells, Mr. and Mrs. Barlow, it appears that, at least for now, it's up to you to find the best way to raise your boys. Good luck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mr. Moncton! 
had enough of this stuff. Okay, I have two peanut butter and jellies, right? And two turkeys with sprouts. Oh, I got enough sunscreen for both of them. Oh, uh, what about the mosquito repellent? See you later. Goodbye, sweetie. And the uh, calamine lotion. <laughs> They're not going on a safari, Sarah. They're just going on a one-day field trip. I know, I know, but like I always say, an ounce of prevention is, is worth a pound of cure. Cure, <laughs> exactly. Uh, there's a bus. Okay, bring me back, sweetie. Come on, hurry up. 